Today I am learning five stumble guys skills that I thought were impossible. So that means five skills that no humans should be able to do in stumble guys. And you guys might be mad at me for only doing five, but once you see how difficult these are to get down, you will understand. And these are not ranging from easy to hard. These are just five impossible skills that I need to learn in today's video. So let's hop into skill number one. Okay, so the first impossible skill that I'm going to learn in this video is going to be the bomb jump. Now, why this is number one is because I think this is the most notorious impossible skill in Stumble Guys that everyone tries to do, but it is impossible because it's so hard. And a tip for you guys is you need to jump right as you land on the bomb or else you're going to sink underwater. So here we go. I'm going to test it out. And for me to successfully learn this skill, I need to jump on two bombs and survive. So here we go. Okay, so I need two bombs to perfectly be aligned in the water, and then I can make a successful bomb jump on them. So here we go. I need to wait for two in this open area of water right here. Okay, so that's one. Here we go. No, see, I immediately sinked into the water, and I also got put into dive. So we have to try that again. Okay, we are into the next game, and I need the bombs to start clearing out the map so I can make the attempt for a bomb jump. Okay, so there's two bombs right here, but I'm going to wait for it to get a little bit more open because I need more space to complete the bomb jump. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to do it pretty soon, hopefully in this area of water right around here. Okay, so there's one, but they need to happen very quick because they explode in about like four to five seconds. Okay, so there's two right here, but unfortunately they did not land in the water. Okay, I'm going to go right here. One, dude, wait, why is it sinking so quick? I have to be so fast. Okay, guys, don't worry. I'm not giving up on the bomb jump just yet. We're just going to move on to the next skill, and that will be coming later in the video. So I basically put the bomb jump on hold. Now we're going to move into skill number two, and I promise you, you have never, ever seen this skill. Okay, for impossible skill number two, we have a skill in crabs landing that will get you first place every single time if you can hit it consecutively inside your run. Now, if you look around the crabs landing map, you can see that there's little crabs that walk around. And if you do something to the crabs, you can actually get a super big boost into the sky so it looks something a little bit like this so when it's coming you want to jump at the crab and it should send you flying in the air so it needs to be coming towards you just like this and then you jump at the exact almost impossible time to time the jump right and you will get sent up into the air like a glitch so what makes it so impossible is you need to time it with your perfect jump space bar to hit the glitch in stumble guys so just like this jump okay so that was a little bit higher but you're going to see the difference when I actually hit the impossible skill. If I can even hit it in this video. Here we go. Another attempt. Okay, that time we timed it wrong as well. Okay, we got eliminated, so we got to go to the next game. Okay, we are back into the next game. And you can actually hit it on any crabs that are on the map. It doesn't have to be in that specific area. But I just find it the easiest to hit it in that area because it's flat ground. On any other type of ground, it's going to be hard to time the jump with the crab. Okay, so I'm going to try and give you guys a little bit of a clear example. So right here, we're going to jump right before. There we go. And then as you see, we get a huge boost. But unfortunately, the water was right there. Let's see if I can hit it again. So as you can see, T-Bone just hit it first try, just like me. And he got the skip that I was trying to get. So I guess you need the water to be in the right area. And actually, guys, I found it easier to do it when I lightly tap my space bar, just like how you can phase easier. So right there. See, it works when you lightly tap your jump button, just like how you can phase easier in my 10 tips to become a pro in stumble guys. If you jump button really light, it's a lot easier to do this impossible skill, but that is impossible skill number two complete. And don't worry, we still have to complete number one later in this video. I just had to take a break from it because it was so impossible. Okay, so we hit it two times. That's good enough to move on to impossible skill number three. Let's hop right into it. Okay, for skill number three, we have honey drop and we have to share all these tiles and then we're going to use the ice ability to get on top of this tree over here. So we're going to jump, use the ice ability and we're going to wait. T-Bones is now going to use his. Okay, well, T-Bones accidentally pushed me off. So if he ends up getting it, he'll send me a clip and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, T-Bones is on top of the tree. And I'm going to try and make my way up to him and see if I can get on top of it as well. Okay, so T-Bones hit it, but we know how to hit it now. So he's going to help me get on top of the tree so you guys can see what it's like. And then if we get the skill correctly, we can move on to skill number four. Okay, here we go. We are into the next game and T-Bones is going to use his ice ability first. So come over here. We'll go to... Okay, I'll, go to... I'll just go to this tree right here. So we're going to use my ice ability right here. We're going to wait to the very last second, use it again. And then now we should be on top of the tree. We are now on top of the tree in honey drop. Now this skill is very hard to learn in stumble guys. See, that is why it's hard to learn and hard to do. 
but we ended up getting on top of it by ourselves so you can do it by yourself you don't need any friends the only thing you need is a content creator to host the map for you so shout out to virus for hosting this map for me and t-bones but that was impossible skill number three we have number four number five then we have to go back to number one at the very end of this game so once i die right here we will be going into skill number four here we go okay for skill number four we have getting on top of the soccer net as you can see there's a place to get above it so the first way i'm going to try is getting on top of the ball okay that's not going to work i already can tell i need to get on top of t-bone's head and then we both need to double jump our way up there so t-bone's get on the bottom and then once i jump you're going to jump and we're going to do the trick to get on top of the net here we go so jump so once i'm at the very tip you jump and then i jump again okay here we go we're going to jump jump Oh, he got an auto dive. Okay, here we go. Three, jump, jump. No, okay, I'm going to try and use volleyball this time and see if we can get up. Three, two, one, jump, jump. No, that was so close. Okay, here, you try and get on top of my head. Oh, he's so close. We might need a third person to do this. I might have to go grab another person. Three, two, one, jump, jump, jump. He got on top of the net. Let's go. Okay, T-Bones, get down and let's see if I can get on top of the net. Three, two, one, jump, jump. Oh, bro, I swear it gets so close and I just get put in auto dive. That's actually so weird. That's so weird. How Hold on. No, I got so close. Okay, come on. Three, two, one, jump. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, and jump. Okay, three, two, one, jump. Keep jumping. There we go. I'm on top of the soccer net. Guys, now this skill right here is only possible on the first try because you're in the soccer map, which has unlimited time. So I would have been here for so long. This one took approximately five minutes to do. So, I mean, that's still pretty good compared to the other impossible skills. Let me know if you can do this with your friends at home and you can take a pretty cool picture up here. Now, guys, you're all probably wondering, can you make it into the stands on the soccer map? So as you can see, I'm on top of the goal and you guys can try this for yourself at home and different things. I'm only going to try and get in the stands. Because we have to move on to impossible skill number five after this. Here we go. We're going to use the double jump emote. And the stands are impossible to get in. T-Bones, let's move into impossible skill number five. Here we go. Okay, for the fifth impossible skill that I need to learn in this video, you all know the underblock clutch and how it is the hardest skill to learn in all of Stumble Guys. We already saw in all my tips and tricks and all my skill videos that I always try and compete and hit the underblock clutch, but I can never end up doing so because of how impossible it is. Now, I'm gonna do the underblock clutch in a new way with this ability right here. As you can see, I have like this super kind of double jump ability in my inventory. So for this video, I need to hit the underblock clutch with this ability right here. And don't worry, we still have to do the bomb jump after this one. I'm saving the hardest skill to learn for the last, which is obviously the bomb jump. Okay, here we go. Here's my first attempt at doing it with this ability in my inventory. So as you all know, we have to line up, jump, and then... Oh my god, wait. This might actually be easier than the normal underblock. The reason I think this is going to be easier, because as you all can see, I can jump over any wall because of the, like, double jump feature that I have built in. So with this quirk right here, it should be easier that I... But I also need to take into account that I need to jump earlier because of how high I jump. Okay, here we go. We just need to immediately go to the first wall we see and try it. Here we go. Okay. So we need to jump and then go under. Oh my god. Okay, I don't feel like that was a real underblock. But I just completed an underblock with the quirk and my first, second ever attempt. Let's see if we can do it again. Honestly, guys, I don't know because I haven't been doing it that much. I don't know if that's a hard or easy clutch to hit. So I have no way to base it off of. Like if I hit an underblock clutch like right then, I would know it's super impossible because I've been trying to do it for a year. But that was my second ever attempt, and I hit it second try. So I have no idea and how to scale that, if that's impossible or not. But hey, we completed it. So now we need to go back to the first skill that we tried to complete and the bomb jump, which is the hardest skill to learn in Stumble, guys. And since I have no one to play with me, I have to go into a game with bots and hope that they survive long enough for me to do the bomb jump. Okay, guys, just to test this out, what I want to do is just go on a bomb that's on the water and just jump on it and see how quick you really need to be to get the bomb jump off. So we need to find a bomb that's in the water. And then once we see a bomb that's in the water, we'll try and jump on it and then jump quickly back off onto land. Okay, so right here, perfect, there's a bomb in the water. Okay, wait, I think it needs to be sitting for like at least a second because when it's still bobbing in the water, it's very hard to jump on it without sinking. Okay, we gotta go find a bomb. I think this is a good way to test the waters, like literally test the waters 
and see how easy that this skill is going to be. And who am I kidding? Why am I saying it's going to be easy? I need to see how hard this skill is going to be. Okay, so there's this one right here. It's been bobbing for a while. We jump on it. Dude, that is so hard. The bomb, like, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I tried it once off camera when I wasn't recording. I was like, okay, I'm gonna test out to see if I can really put this skill in a video. The first attempt I did it, I jumped on the bomb really quick and jumped off. And I was like, okay, this might be a little bit hard, but it still might be pretty easy to get it in the first like 20 minutes of trying. And this is definitely setting a tone. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this. And we have to find a bomb that's not gonna sink me in a second because I swear there's heavier bombs that don't sink you. Because the one that I did the first ever time I tried it, it did not sink me immediately, which is so weird. Okay, we're going to go over here because this is where I first did it when I wasn't recording. It was on this side. Okay, this one right here. I'm going to jump on it. Here we go. See, there we go. See, that one I did not jump on. Like, I did not sink, I mean. I did not sink at all. That's what we need to actually complete the bomb jump in Stumble, guys. And I walked into the water because my vision was blurred by Hard Guy 112. I okay, guys, I think this is my good side over here. This side, like, right here is where the bombs are the most heaviest. So I might need to take that into consideration when I'm trying to do it in late game. Also, if you guys are watching this video and you're listening to me right now, I want you to comment the word chill down below so I know you're watching the video all the way throughout. I'm not going to put a word at the end, so confuse everyone who did not watch throughout the video and just skip to the end. Okay, so right about... Right about here? No, we're not going to go for that one. Okay, I'm just going to forget... I'm just going to abandon that side, and I get smacked in the face with a bomb. Nice, perfect. Okay, we're into the next game, and I'm going to go test the waters. I think there's going to be one right here. Perfect, okay. So we're gonna let it bomb for a while. Jump and me. Okay, I think that's it. You cannot jump on a fresh bomb that's in the water. It has to bob down for a little bit. Like this one right here, jump on the fresh one. Okay, wait. I'm actually starting to get the hang of it. Can I do three in a row? No way. So this one's fresh. See, that one was fresh. It was still bobbing up and down. You see how the bombs land? They start going up and down. After they've been sitting in the water for about two seconds, they completely go still. And that's when it's able to get jumped on. But that makes it 20 times harder because I have to jump on a bomb that's already been still and then have one that's right next to it that's also still. That's going to make this so much more harder. Okay, I think I'm done testing out how I'm going to do it. I figured out the strategy to hit a bomb jump and stumble, guys, and I'm going to try and do it right here. But for this to work, now we have to wait for the waters to get open, and I can actually have an area to do the bomb jump on. Bro, can this guy get out of my way? He's actually making me mad. I had to punch him into the water, guys. Sorry. Okay, so this is a perfect area. This one's going to explode two of those. Oh, no, just one. This one's going to explode that one, and there should be a good area to do the bomb jump. Okay, so if this one goes away, it should be perfect, or we could go, oh, right here is actually a very good area. I could have went right here, honestly, but I just didn't know which one was fresher, because you got to jump on the fresher one. Okay. Okay, so that's a bomb right there. Can another one land? No. And I get hit into the water. Bro, I hate this map so much, bro. Like, even if it's like a small area like this where I go one and then two, I'm fine with that, because that's hitting a bomb jump two times in a row. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is a bomb jump is touching a bomb twice before you hit the ground once. That is what a bomb jump is con considered in Stumble, guys. And this is looking like a very, very good area to hit a bomb jump on. Okay, so there's one bomb. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. One. Oh, my God. That was so close. Oh, my God. If that bomb did not explode me, that's a bomb jump right there. Okay, perfect. An already open area. Uh, we just need this tile to go away, and that's already like a six square area. That's already open for us. So there's one and two, but they're going to be exploding in like a few seconds. Yeah, it's just not worth it. Oh, there's two right here. That would actually be perfect. Okay, uh, I'm going to wait for right here, I think. Actually, I need to follow the ship because wherever the ship goes, most bombs land near the ship. Okay, this is where I need to be looking. Now the bomb, now the ship's in my area and there's a huge open area that I can go on. Okay, two bombs right here, guys. Two bombs right here. Oh my God, perfect. Okay, one, two. That's a bomb jump for you in Stumble, guys. Let's go. Oh my god, that was a bomb jump. That was the first ever time I've done a bomb jump. I'm, I'm actually speechless right now. Let me know if you guys can complete any of those five impossible skills that I showed you. And, and me, myself, I completed every single one. And let's see how long I've been recording. One hour. I completed five impossible skills in a one singular hour i mean i don't know i'm either go to stumble guys let me know down in the comments below but if you all did enjoy this video please make sure to like and subscribe huge shout out to virus huge shout out to virus right here i'll send him a friend request huge shout out to t-bones they all help make this video possible so everyone go hit them with the follow and guys if this video gets 500 likes i will make a video called learning five more impossible skills and stumble guys because don't even worry i have so many more skills that i can do that are basically impossible well i mean i can try and do them i don't know if they are going to be done but i can try and do them i just didn't want to put 10 in this video because i don't want the video to be too long and me doing literal impossible skills peace out